Welcome back, warrior. So happy Easter. Today is Easter and he is risen. It's just such a happy day, right? So today we're going to be reading Matthew chapter 28, 1 to 10. And it says, and we're focusing, you know, on the resurrection. It says, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. Okay, uh, one of, so just from verse one, this is what Redhead Hostess says. Also, look at this Hermione here. It's amazing. <laughs> one of the most beautiful phrases in all scriptures can be found in verse one, which is as it began to dawn. Those who loved Jesus were in deep mourning. Their understanding of Jesus' resurrection was not clear. They had never witnessed a resurrection. No one on earth had. What was, struck, what was stuck in their memory was the awful crucifixion and the placement of Jesus' body in the tomb. Friday was on their minds. But on this day, their mourning would be turned to unbelievable joy as they would witness for themselves the power of the atonement of Jesus Christ. They would see that he overcame death and began and begin to realize what that meant not only for Jesus but for them and for all mankind this sabbath had now come and it will change everything this dawn held promises for us all oh man and we were probably so excited in the premortal life to be able to experience this on a different level um than those who were with him, although those who were with him would have been super hard um, to kind of have that as their, um, remember, like as Jesus Christ would be, uh, as he was crucified and then died, like that would have been the worst. And it, and it was the worst for us because we had to see him suffer, right? But we, we knew ultimately what was going to happen. Okay, so then it says, um, <clears throat> Elder Joseph B. Worthland said, uh, October 2006 General Conference, he says, each of us will have our own Fridays, those days when the universe itself seems shattered and the shards of our world lie littered about us in pieces. Oh man, that's like the best description of anything. We all will experience those broken times when it seems we can never be put together again. We will all have our Fridays but I testify to you in the name of the one who conquered death. Sunday will come in the darkness of our sorrow. Sunday will come. No matter how, no matter our desperation, no matter our grief, Sunday will come in this life or the next Sunday will come. I testify to you that the resurrection is not a fable. We have the personal testimonies of those who saw him. Thousands in the old and new worlds witnessed the risen Savior. They felt the wounds in his hands, feet, and side. They shed tears of unrestrained joy as they embraced him. End quote. And that's the title is Sunday Will Come from General Conference, October 2006. Okay, so I need to go and have breakfast, breakfast with the family. Okay. So verse two, and behold, there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was just like lightning and his raiment white as snow. Okay. And in the Joseph Smith translation, it mentions that there's two angels um, instead of just one. And verse four. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Mama, and, my okay, awesome. Uh, and the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. So the women were witnesses of the angel. And he is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay. Yeah. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. Okay. 
So in verses 2 to 7, early that morning, Matthew described a great earthquake at the tomb as two angels descended in heavenly majesty. The Joseph Smith translation in each of the four gospel accounts clarify that two angels appeared at the sacred at this sacred event rather than one. It actually makes sense that there would be two anyway because that's what the Lord likes to do. He likes to send people two by two. He likes to do things. Um, it seems like that's like that's what he likes to do. Anyway, the guards who had been placed at the tomb by the Jewish priests in order to keep Jesus' disciples from stealing the body were terrified and fled. They rolled the stone. <sighs> they rolled the stone away from the opening and sat upon it. Meanwhile, the small group of faithful women arose early in the morning and returned to the tomb, bringing spices in order to anoint Jesus' body. As they walked, they wondered how they would move the massive stone that covered the opening of the tomb. When they arrived, they found the door open with two glorious beings sitting on the stone. Naturally, they were surprised and afraid. The angels reassured them, fear not, he is not here, for he is risen. Oh, I love that um, That the women got to see the angel or the angels. And I love that the women were the ones that woke up early, early in the morning um, to, to tend to the Savior, you know. Um, there's a video. Let's see if I can find it. There's a video that, set, that is from Pacheco. I know I can't remember. Uh, his name, uh, it is, yes, uh, I'm not trying to remember Jesus' name, I would never forget him, but, um, there's Nathan Pacheco, that's the one. Okay, so, Easter video, no, it's, it's a video where... Uh, the two angels roll away. And it's probably just like a compilation video, but it's so good. Um, uh, tomb angel angels Nathan Pacheco. Okay. Um, I'll have to find, I'll have to find the song. I'll have to I'll have to find this song and put, and put it up there. Okay, I found it. Let's see. Oh, it's so good. From Nathan Pacheco, it's called Forever. Oh, it's the best. I'll let you watch it right here for a second. Okay, but this one's not the mix. So this video doesn't have like the mix, so. So I'll, I'll find it, okay? And I'll put the link here. Okay, I totally found it. All right, it took a minute. <laughs> but finally we did, okay. Let's see.
Okay, love that video. It's the best. Okay. Okay, and it says that these are the most reassuring words in all of human history. Death universal and final had now been conquered. Never had this occurrence occurred before there had been only death without hope now there was life eternal only a god could have done this the resurrection of jesus christ was the great crowning event of his life and mission it was the capstone of the atonement the sacrifice of his life for all mankind was not complete without his coming forth from the grave with certain with the certainty of resurrection for all who have walked the earth of all the victories in the chronicles of human of humanity, and none is so great, none so universal in its effects, none so everlasting in its consequences as the victory of the crucified Lord who came forth from the tomb that first Easter morning, end quote, mm. by President Gordon B. Hinckley, special witness of Christ, Enzyme, April 2001. Okay, that was awesome. Um, okay, and then verses 8 to 10 says, And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great glory and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, All hail. And they came and, and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Um, I want a picture of like those women, you know, who went running and who probably dropped all their junk that they had in their hands and just went running. And I only call it junk because I call everything junk, not to try and diminish whatever it is that they were bringing. You know, obviously those good spices and things that they were going to anoint Christ's body with. But at this time, compared to what was happening, it would be considered junk. Like, let's leave us, let's go, hurry. Um, and so then it says, the women left with fear and great glory and ran to tell the disciples what they had just learned. As they went, Jesus met them saying, all hail. And the women held him by the feet and worshiped him. If we want to know what pure worship looks like, just imagine this moment. The good news continued. The disciples were to go to Galilee where Jesus will appear to them. And we know he appeared to the Nephites. And one day you also will be a witness of the resurrected Jesus Christ. I love this. Uh, the questions here. What promises did this Sabbath day hold for you and those you love? What does the resurrection mean to you? Um, there's also another part that I really love um, where it's Mary who goes and runs to tell the apostles. And I also want a picture of that. So, you know, if you find one or if you make one, uh, please let me know because I would love it. Anyways, happy Easter. This is the best day ever and it is so awesome. And um, hopefully your... Um, church service or was amazing or is going to be and I always look forward to it because it, the board council usually plans something um special on on Easter Sunday um anyways thanks for being here thanks for celebrating Jesus with me stay strong warrior